Tom Sculpture. I'm going to go over the VVT X40 amplifier. And uh, this amp has a clean channel, an overdrive channel, it has a boost channel that the clean channel and overdrive share. It also has a, an effects loop and um, which I'm running pedals through which is the even tied time factor, the even tied space, the Strymon timeline, and a Cusack Tappa Whirl. And in the an input I'm running a exotic RC booster, uh, exotic SP compressor, analog compressor, and uh, that's about it. Okay, um, this is going to be mono through a 212 cabinet. Uh, at 16 ohms. So we'll go over the clean first with no boost. <laughs> which is cool if you're doing uh, big band type things, jazz, uh, uh, blues. And uh, part one, which is going to be the clean, going over the clean of the amp, um, you know, do chordal stuff uh, just so you can get an idea how the amp reacts to chords and how all the strings ring. So for this type of sound, it probably be cool to do something more like this. So it uh, gives a real big fat uh, clean tone without the boost and uh, it's very uh, cool. Alright, so now what I'm going to do is pop in the even tied pitch factor for some spread so you can get an idea um, what the effects how it uh, the amp sounds <laughs> tied pitch factor you're now hearing more of the strings ring and a little bit brighter um, if I wanted even brighter than that I would go to my RC booster uh, and it would sound like this channel um, no boost and uh, with a couple effects and you see how it went from darker to, to brighter which is a uh, kind of a cool uh, thing and it gets now we have three tones and one channel all right so now we're gonna go to the put the boost on the overdrive gets a little bit more uh, highs in it, uh, more uh, bottom, and uh, get a little bit more growl. So I'm going to back the guitar off to about four on the volume, and it should clean up real nice. <laughs> tied pitch factor in and uh, so it'll sound like this. Mm -hmm. 
So now we got uh, a lot more highs than the the first clean channel by using the boost. And if I wanted more, I would um, pop in my uh, exotic RC booster. <laughs> That's with the um, RC booster, and so now we got more chime with that, uh, a lot more highs, and so that's uh, with the clean and the boost. Now, what's cool about this uh, amp also is that I can go to the overdrive and have another clean sound. So that clean sound um, is by putting the volume on your guitar about four and uh and it cleans up real nice so this is how that sounds <laughs> a little, little bit of dirt on there and it uh, you can hear all the strings it doesn't get muddy and uh, it's a nice sound if I went to crank my guitar about nine it would be a lot more gainy uh, like so <laughs> the uh, amount of gain we're using but if I back the guitar down while I'm about four uh, we get a nice uh, clean tone so now I'll pop in the even tied pitch factor for some uh, spread If I wanted more highs on uh, this, I uh, would pop in the RC booster. But um, when it comes to distortion, I don't like to add highs. Uh, it starts getting pingy, and the overtones start getting uh, pretty gnarly. But uh, here it would sound like if I did that. <laughs> RC booster on. With the RC booster off. So now we're going to add the boost to the uh, overdrive. And uh, we get a can get another clean uh, sound by just rolling off our guitar volume. That sounds like this. So this is the guitar on four. And if I were to put a guitar on about nine, it would. This is the gain that's coming out of the uh, amp. So it's uh, pretty gainy um, and overdrive and distorted. And so, but if I roll the volume off on four, it cleans up nice, and we get another clean sound. So I'll add the even tight pitch factor for some spread. Sounds like this. So 
So again, I can add the RC boosters for some highs, but uh, it's going to get pretty, uh, I'd pretty harsh, I'd say. <laughs> The RC booster to me adds uh, too much gain, and uh, not what I'm going for. You know, I want to use a, at least four uh, good clean tones, and so that's uh, without the RC booster, and that's a usable clean tone. So that's how um, the VVTX40 at VVTAmpsFires.com. You can find out uh, more information about the uh, VVTX40. And we're going. They were going for a D style um, tones on this this amplifier, which is you can find more information on that on their uh, website at VVT Amplification. Dot com. So um, part two, we'll go over the gain, uh, the overdrive with the boost. And um, thanks for watching and until part two.